the one, the only, Ben Sion. Good morning and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube Daily Double. Today we're doing with Sechach Yuma, Perek Dalet, Mishnah is based in Gimel. Mishnah Beis says, Kashar Lashon Shal Zahur is Baro Sayer to Mishalea. Right, we know that you tie the crimson thread to the head of the Sar and Mishalech, and you throw on the Azazel, right? And then it was thrown off, and it miraculously turned white if the sins were forgiven. Then we do Kneged base Shiluch, they put it next to the gate, where eventually, at the end of the day, in the afternoon, it's going to be taken, the Azazel, to be thrown off the cliff. The the animal that was chosen, La Hashem, Kneged base Shritaso, you would actually also wrap around the Lush and Zahuris around its neck because that was to signify that it would be shafted later on in the day. Then he came to the second bull. He had two bulls. One bull he was sacrificed for him and his family. And the second one's going to be for him and his fellow Kohanim. He leans his two hands on him. Not only my house, but also the rest of the Kohanim. The nation would answer when they heard Hashem's name. We'll talk more in Ian Mitzion. It's actually Machloke. This Mishnah follows Rabbi Meir's opinion that when he's Mizvada, when he's announcing the sins that he and the Kohanim did, he says, Avonos It doesn't really make sense. Aviti is on Mezid. Pashati is Mered, it's even more than Mezid, where you did it not just on purpose, but to rebel against God. And Chatasi refers to Shkagos, right? So what's going on over here? Right? Mayor, if, he, if Hashem's going to already atone for, on purpose, and for re- rebelling, of course He's going to atone for, for sinning. The Rabbanan change it around. The Rabbanan say in the Gemara that really he would say, L'chatayim will have onos to b'shayim. L'chatayim will come first. Then Avonos is building up. We'll explain the Machlokes of Meir and the Rabbanan. It's a very important Machlokes about what and the function of the, the par of the of the Kohen Gadol and his family and the par that he brought for all of the Kohanim. Gimel shachto v'kibol of Mizrach and Damo. He shachted um, the par and he accepted um, he, he 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 caught the blood in a cleave. Again, he wasn't ready to sprinkle the blood yet, so he put it in this container. And one person would go ahead, um, not inside the heichal. It really means the fourth row of stones outside the heichal, because no one can go into the heichal except the kohen, except uh, the kohen. Um, when he's doing the avoda, right? You can't just go in just to, to mix the blood. So he was inside the heichal, and he would mix it. They shall yikro, so it shouldn't coagulate. Not the machtev all the roshim is back. Now he was ready to do the avoda sayom. The main part was to burn the ktoris in the kodesh hakdashim. So he went. He took a shovel, and he went to the mizbeach. He moved some some coals from one side to the other side. Again. He took from the middle ones, the ones, the coals that were already, you know, basically burnt up a little bit so that there would be fire. And he took this shovel and he left it again on outside the heichal on one of the rows of stones outside the heichal. They'll be ready to take it when he took the ktores. He's going to take in the hand the ktores, a handful of ktores. And then he's going to take the shovel full of coals and bring them both into the kodshaya kodshim. And then sac- mix, mix them together, um, put the put the Torahs on the coals in the Kodesh HaKadoshim. That was the main Avodah Sayom, but he's getting ready in this Mishnah. That's the conclusion of today's year. Stay tuned for Ian Mitzion, where I discuss this Machlogis from Meir and the Rabbanan. I have a very interesting take on the Machlogis from Meir and the Rabbanan. It's very interesting. You're going to want to hear it. Ian Mitzion coming up next.